Welcome to episode three of Meet the Human Diet. I'm calling this Sugar Kills and Carbs Are Sugars. Through a process called glycation, sugar kills cells in our body, but it gets worse. These glycated cells create ages, advanced glycation end products. I'll put a link in my YouTube channel, Meet the Human Diet, to a great little video that explains the biochemistry of this process, if you're interested. And as if that isn't bad enough, these ages through what's called the NOx pathway can create free radicals, hydroxyl free radicals, which are extremely harmful to ourselves. There are two ways sugars can get into our body, what we eat and what our body can make. Now, where do carbs fit in this? Well, carbs are all sugars. They can be simple or complex. Sometimes they can be easily absorbed and have a high GI. Sometimes they have to get into our gut and get broken down by bacteria there, um, and we call that fibre. But the end point is that carbs simply convert to sugars in our body. Our sugar needs vary from person to person, and it, within each person, our needs vary a lot throughout the day, depending on what we're doing. Fortunately, evolution provided us with the right mechanism to provide the right amount of sugars exactly when we need them. That process is called gluconeogenesis. And that process happens without consuming any sugars and without consuming any carbs. By not consuming carbs, we make sure that our body only makes what we need. So we don't end up with any excess sugars in our body to cause these glycations, inflammation and free radicals. This was an essential learning for me on my journey to my metabolic health. So in short, I learned that the amount of carbs I need to consume is precisely zero, none. I hope this video provided some useful information for you. And if so, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. And as always, take care of your families.